In the early days of desktop 3D printing, basically you only had two options for 3D printing plastics, ABS or PLA. So nowadays, step forward a couple of years, you can get so many different variations of 3D printing filament. It's literally mind blowing. You can get filaments with carbon fiber, you can get filaments with metal, bronze fill, brass fill, but what about 3D printing filament with algae in it? Well today, we're going to be looking at the 3D Fuel Algae PLA. This stuff is nuts. So I've been wanting to get hold of the 3D Fuel Algae PLA for quite some time. It's actually one of the most unique filaments I've come across in my experience in 3D printing. So when Simon over at 3D Fuel Australia got in touch with me and said, Hey Angus, can I send you some rolls of it to test out and do a video on? I thought that was awesome. Simon's a great guy and he sent me two rolls of algae PLA and two rolls of APLA filament, which I'm going to be testing in a future video. So the thing about the algae PLA is it's not 100% algae, it's algae mixed with PLA and they do some crazy stuff with it. And the idea behind this filament is it's 100% biodegradable and 100% renewable. There's no petrochemicals at all in this filament. And the idea is you can just chuck it into your backyard, bury it in the sand and over time it'll just break down naturally and not cause the environment any harm. So when you're 3D printing lots of useless knickknacks, that's a pretty nice thing to know. Like, you don't want to be printing tons of stuff in ABS and then have to chuck it in the bin to break down over thousands of years. You want something that, you know, if you don't want it anymore, you know, let it actually compost naturally. And I know composting and biodegrading are two different things, um, and this stuff can compost correctly with the right conditions. So how about printing? You know, what's printing with algae like? Well, actually pretty nice. It's got a really interesting sort of matte finish and texture to it, almost like printing with sort of cardboard or something. And when the part comes off, it has a really satisfying texture to it. The smell on the other hand is something else. Okay, so it's not like printing petrochemical filaments where it's like a really acrid smell. The closest I could describe it to is burnt cookies or slightly overcooked cookies, but it is quite strong. So keep this in mind when printing with the algae filament, you're gonna want a nice ventilated area. Not because it's toxic, but because it does get pretty whiffy and you know, your grandma's gonna be like, why who's burning the cookies? So yeah, keep that in mind when printing with it. In terms of settings, I did find it was a little bit stringy initially, so I had to ramp up my retraction settings from normal PLA uh, presets. But apart from that, it actually printed really well. Support material pulled away nicely. And yeah, overall, I'm really, really impressed with the finish I can get off this print. It's a little bit like the finish you get off wood fill prints where the texture sort of hides the lines somewhat and it's actually pretty neat. And what about strength? Well actually I was pleasantly surprised how tough this stuff is. Obviously it's not going to win awards for you know being the strongest plastic on the world but if you're just printing some sort of decorative items or things that don't, don't need too much strength I think it's the perfect plastic for that. Okay so now the kicker, how much does it cost? Well 3D Fuel is an American company and they put pride into testing their filament. It's made in America so in terms of once you get it to Australia this is $90 a kilo, which is pretty expensive. But, hang on to your seats, the up filament is actually more expensive now than this stuff per kilo. So, although it sounds really pricey when you compare it to eSun or stuff like that, what you're getting is a really premium experience. 3D Fuel, they test everything in the States, everything's precisely controlled, and Simon in Australia is just doing an awesome job to bring that experience over across here. You know, he sent this to me in two days, and I'm in Perth. It's ridiculous. It got here so, so quickly. So if you have an experimental printer like the Wanhao i3, like this bad boy here, definitely grab some of this filament. It's like nothing else I've tested, and it's lots of fun to print with. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video about the 3D Fuel Algae PLA. If you're in Australia and you'd like to grab some of it yourself, the link for it is down in the description. Tell Simon Angus sent you and he'll be pretty happy. If you did enjoy this video and want to see more future 3D printing content, feel free to subscribe and like this video. It helps me out a lot. And I'll see you again soon here on Makers Muse. Bye.